Telling the story of JC can never be complete without telling the stories of his children. He is the patriarch of this family. But due to unfortunate incident when the twins were five, he has lost his wife and he brought the children up as a single dad. His wife lost an argument with a big black mamba and that was a tragedy for an Osterkop. For days he just wandered around the place not really sure what to do. Two small daughters, the twins, Wilhelmine and Cookie Doll, and then his son that was two years older, Klein Young. In the end, he decided, well, that's the cards that was dealt, and he will play the hand. So he brought up the children on his own. His mother did help him from time to time, and it was she that baptized the blonde cookie doll. Now, that is a South African thing, giving nicknames. And especially in the Africana community. And the name Cookie Doll stuck with her for the rest of her life. Up to today, she is known as Cookie Doll and not as Sophia. Wilhelmine, on the other hand, she was the more calm one and the serious one. Cookie Doll was the happy, jovial one. Wilhelmine was the serious one. So Wilhelmine also played the role of a mother as she grew up bigger and older. Klein Young, he withdrew. The loss of his mother was a serious thing to him. And nobody really realizes how much that has affected him. In the end, he became almost a recluse. He indulged himself in the mechanical work. He loved it. And that is what he studied at university, mechanical engineering. Cookie Doll, she went for teaching, but she also did a, a diploma in nursing. So she's the one that is the caring one. At this time, she's running the crash on Ronosterkop and she enjoys working with the children. Wilhelmine is the one that is the entrepreneur. She has got the guest house and she runs the tourism thing and she's always out there promoting Renosterko. JC just looked at his children tonight and he was filled with pride. This was something that every man must should be proud of. Cookie Doll is the apple of JC's eye. He loves this daughter of his. She is so adventurous and so energetic. And over the years a very strong bond has developed among between them. On the other hand, Philomene, Philomene is a serious one. And yes, JC could not really run this business without her. She is the one that makes sure that everything on the administrative side is done. Her activities in the hospitality things for Ronosterkop is known to everybody. She's the one that implemented the tradition of labeling the vehicles that did a successful crossing of Rhino Mountain. She's also the one that are always out looking for people that want to make an Ostrakop their home. And then there is Klenya. He is the silent, quiet one. But over the years, he has been extremely protective of his sisters. And many a chancer has left an Ostrakop badly bruised and beaten. Because Klenya, he never indulged in long arguments and debates. To him, black and white, 
right and wrong. And if a guy steps out of line with his sisters, there was a stern warning and the next, well, Klenyan is a big man. And if he decides it's time for you to go, you either go willingly or somebody will carry you away. And there you have it. You have now met JC, the patriarch of Renosterkop and his three children. Thank you for watching and please subscribe, share and comment. There's many more stories on Renosterkop.